Jim, obviously a, a disappointing week. Have the boys bounced back today? Um, yeah, look, you know, everyone is disappointed. You know, it wasn't the result we hoped for on the weekend. But, you know, as far as we're concerned, the season's not over yet. Everyone's still got something to play for, so we're back in today working hard and looking forward to the weekend. Obviously a big game, the Big Blue against Sydney FC. That, that means a lot to you guys, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. I mean, we've had two draws against them this season, so, you know, it's a chance for us to go out and get on top. And obviously, you know, we always want to win those games. And as I said before, the players as well have got a point to prove, so. Obviously, from a club perspective, it's been a bit disappointing of late, but I mean, it's been a, a wonderful ride for yourself, I suppose, coming into the senior team, getting consistent games. How have you found it? Yeah, look, I've really enjoyed it. You know, I mean, as I said, I've had to wait a while, but, you know, I got a chance and I've managed to get a few games and, you know, I thank Jim for that. And yeah, I'm really like enjoying it, looking for, like enjoying helping the boys and helping us try to get results and it's not going our way, but, you know, hopefully me and the team can build for next season. Are you feeling more and more comfortable with every week that goes by? Yeah, I am, you know, like obviously in your first couple of games you just try and keep it simple and do a job for the team and as things go on, you know, you do get more comfortable and confident and again, you just try and build in, on each game. Back in October I spoke to you and you were saying how that if you want to get a spot in the team you would have to earn it. Do you think you've earned it? Um, look, you know, I went out every week in the youth team whether the gaffer was there or not and, you know, did as well as I could and obviously, you know, things worked out whether he's seen something he liked, he liked or whatever. I've worked hard every day in Cheney and was lucky enough to get a chance and now I'm lucky enough to get some games. So, How's the uh, transition from the youth league into the A-League? Um, look, it's definitely a step up. But again, you know, as, when I came up, all the boys were really helpful and I've trained, trained with the boys every day, so that always helps. And, you know, I've slowly every game been feeling more comfortable and getting used to it. And yeah, it's been enjoyable. I take it you'd uh, be advocate of uh, Jim sticking around next season? <laughs> yeah, look, you know, as I said, he gave me a chance and I'm really grateful for that. And, you know, he's making some positive changes around the place. Training's been good. And obviously, as I said, the results haven't gone the way we've hoped. But I think you can see that he is trying to do something and I think given time it will work. Bit of a tougher work out there today? Yeah, it was. And that again shows that, you know, as far as we're concerned, the season's not over. We've still got a point to prove and we still want to go out there and show people what we're capable of. What about working alongside someone like Mark Milligan in the midfield? It seems like you guys have formed quite a good partnership. You're learning a lot off him. Yeah, look, I've really, really enjoyed playing with Mills. I mean, he's been a big help when I've come in because we came, started playing together in the middle. And, you know, I think we work well together. And, you know, you see what he went out and did for the Socceroos and been working alongside him really, I learn a lot and it's enjoyable as well. You've, there's been a bit said, I mean it might go a bit over your head this sort of thing, but uh, a bit, bit said about the youth development in terms of the club, but what do you make of the, the kids you know, like yourself that are coming through, is there, there more to come, more that we can see? Look I definitely think there is, I mean if you look at the results that the lads have had, they didn't start the season too well, but the improvement's been absolutely unbelievable, I mean I don't think they got a point in the first half of the season. And now they've gone on, they beat the, I think it was the top team or the second team on the weekend. And Daz has done a really good job with them. And they're young, but there's a lot of talent there. And I think, you know, Daz will keep on working with them and given the opportunity, I think there's a few that will be ready to step up soon. Jim, what have you learned? What's the one thing that you've learned about football this season? I think I've learned that, you know, you've got to take the good with the bad. And, you know, for me, it's been positive playing in the first team. But obviously, when push comes to shove, that's not really what it's about. It's about the team doing well. And you know, that you've got to keep on working and things might not, might not go the way you want to, but if you keep on working, which I think we're doing, then eventually you've got to believe that things will turn around. And whether it's, you know, we get some results at the end of this season or going in, we build for next season, you know? I think if you keep on working, things will turn around. Can I just ask also, I believe you were born in Austria. Yeah. Has, have they ever contacted you at all about uh, any representation? No, they haven't, to be fair. Um, I, was, I was there until I was 10 and then I moved across here. So I haven't heard anything from there. So. Uh, what do you think Austrian football gave you? Um, well, I think, it was, I mean, it's a lot. From the age of maybe four or well, five, I started there. And at the age of seven or eight, we were training four times a week. And I was at, you know, like a semi-professional club. so. I think it was a good grounding and yeah, I enjoyed it over there. You know, the football's their number one sport. So yeah, I really enjoyed it over there. Perhaps one day go back to Austria? Who knows? Who knows, mate?